Hi, I'm Jock, artist on uh, Batman, The Losers, uh, Green Arrow Year One and Witches, and today I'm going to draw Batman for you. I, I like to draw with ink, you know, some guys pencil very tightly and then kind of, you know, go over the lines, but I like to try and draw with the ink if I can. Keeps it interesting, you know, keeps it more immediate, which, which, which I prefer. Some of my pencils are, in fact, so loose. You know, I, I think maybe only I can see what's going on in them. I think so long as you have the information that you need to see, then that, that's enough for me, you know, and, and, and that, that I kind of don't like the idea of um, drawing the same thing twice, you know, literally like drawing it tiny and then just doing it again and with, with ink, that's never, never appealed very much. So just trying to get the rough shape of Batman at the moment. I like this, it's quite big, you know, like moving the pencil around. And normally, I mean, it's, you know, not not a million miles from the stuff I'm using here. Um, I use a Pentel Art pen for for the line work, and um, brush pen for for spotting blacks, and then all kinds of markers and sharpies and things to do large areas of black, and maybe some white out for rain. I never get tired of drawing him. I think it's just because he's made up of, sort of simple shapes. I, I, you know, whenever I do a convention sketch or anything, he's kind of like the, the, the easiest, but also the most enjoyable. I think you know you'll get the best results at a kind of convention level sketch. You know, doing Batman. Just little subtle things about the you know, the relationship between where you put the eyes and the nose and the mouth. You know, it's 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 the kind of the more you draw him, the more that kind of comes together. Constantly trying to kind of work it out as I go. Again, I, I like to draw with, with with the pen and not feel too kind of um, contained, I suppose, by the pencils. Yeah, this is probably somewhere in between what I do at convention sketch and and finished art. I would say. I would say we'll see how it goes. It might get might get rougher as, as I go on. I look at the blank page and see if I can see something. It helps me think about form and light and shade. If I can picture the thing in in the piece of paper. You know, a lot of the sort of problems that you might have to solve along the way, that you've already done a lot of them because because you're 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 already kind of seeing it and visualising it. Even if you're doing sequential pages, if you're storytelling, the cape can just kind of change lengths depending on you know what's happening in the story. You can use it as a dramatic element to Batman, and uh, that's always good fun. I tend to draw it a little bit too long though; like they wouldn't really be able to function properly, but. normally happens is I start putting black in and um, just keep covering with more and more and more and more black. Like basically his cowl can just be almost solid black and like it tends to look best solid black but I normally start with some kind of sense of the form and the shape underneath and um, and then sort of eradicate it as it goes along then it will still have a, hopefully a bit more solidity to it you know. But so many times I've, I've drawn in some details and just ended up just blacking them out. The key to good drawing is, is, is form, really. That's that's what it's all about. When I realised that, everything sort of changed and I, and I thought far more about the, the 3D space rather than think, thinking in a 2D way. But I was into Batman and Robin, something when I was young, but um, didn't didn't really have access to or, or read the comics until I started getting into comics myself and then, you know, discovered Neil Adams and Dark Knight Returns and Batman Year One and you know that kind of late 80s kind of time where there were a lot of good stuff being published. 2008 was 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 the, the one for me that was um, it's where the character Judge Dredd came from in the UK. I still ink everything by hand. I use Photoshop for colouring, but I still like ink and pens and materials to be honest. And this is normally the point where I'll completely black out his, his cow. Every time. I think, I know, I'll just show his face and then I end up just going, shh, covering up.
do. I'm Jock and this is my Batman.